Hi everyone, my name is Heather and you're watching Stainless Penny Heather Speaks, which is just a blog where I kind of talk about what it's like to live in Japan. And uh, we are really close to uh, March, which means uh, Hinamatsuri is almost here. Uh, Hinamatsuri is a doll festival that's on the 3rd of March, usually every year. Different parts of Japan do celebrate it at different times. For example, in Nagasaki, in the city of Omura, they celebrate on April 3rd, so it's kind of confusing that way. Basically, you might see the dolls out for the whole month of March, even into April sometimes. So uh, putting them out is such a hassle that people like to leave them out for a while if they can. It's kind of like putting up Christmas decorations. You kind of want to leave them out as long as you can because of the hassle of getting them out. But uh, with Hinamatsuri right around the corner, the, you know, the minute the Valentine's Day was over, all the Hinamatsuri things came out because we're getting ready and gearing up for that. Now, I'm a huge, giant fan of Chiroru Chokuro and they're just kind of a cheapo simple kind of chocolate that you buy in Japan the small ones are 10 yen the bigger ones are 20 yen um, and it's not you know high quality fancy chocolate but it's not bad either and they always come up with such unique flavors I'm sure if I looked it up there's probably close to over 100 different kinds of flavors that they've come up with over the years but this kind of a thing here is a box that they sell and the box shape is the same shape as the chocolate um, and you usually see these for Christmas for Valentine's Day those kinds of things I think I showed you guys a Christmas one that looked like a little Christmas cake and this one this year is so cute because you can set it up to look like a Hinamatsuri display. And then the little chocolates have the little Hina dolls' faces on them. So I thought, oh my gosh, I have to get this and share it with you guys. And then there's special chocolates that are just for this holiday. Now, the biscuit flavor one, that's in one that's always around. And then this is uh, Hina Arare, which is basically kind of like um, uh, crispy rice. And then uh, Ichigo uh, strawberry vanilla flavored with a little tear um, and it kind of looks like the colors in the mochi that you see for Hinamatsuri. So just such a cute little box and um, thought I'd show you guys how you make it. Now the first thing you want to do is open right over here so that you can get the chocolate out because um, the chocolate's inside in a bag. And I wish that didn't happen because that makes the box not look so pretty. I guess I could have avoided that by cutting that. I should have just done that because then I wouldn't ruin my box. <laughs> but if you do this, you'll see right here there's a little description of how to make the uh, box. And it shows in pictures too, so if you can't read Japanese, then you can do that. Now inside is um, the chocolate, so I'll take that out for a second. And then I can focus on the steps to make the uh, display for the Hinamatsuri um, dolls. And it says first to pop out these little spots that have the stars, so I can go in and do that. And mostly it's it's pre-perforated, pre so you shouldn't have too much trouble popping it out um, without you know damaging anything. If you're worried though, you can definitely you know try to use like an X-Acto knife or something. But I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of pop this out pretty easily here. And we'll do the other side too. So we get those little stars taken out. And then the next thing they say is to go ahead and smash down that level to create the first uh, dong or level of the um, display. So we've got this part right here. And I'm just going to pop that in to get it to go down the other way. And we want to create a good kind of indentation here and over here as well and make sure that the inside one is going the right way and if you want you can kind of open things up to keep this pinched inside so it looks right. Now there's these little areas here that have a bit of perforation and they're meant to be indented in so that way you can place the chocolate in there and give it a nice little place to rest so that you can create that love that area for the dolls. So we have those kind of perforated and ready to go. And then um, up here at the top, we want to also kind of create the top part of everything. I'm just going to pop this part out. And it's made pretty well so that you don't really run the risk of hurting it in any way. I know sometimes, especially when I was a kid, some of the things that were like this never turned out very good. And you try so hard to make it and it would tear and be so messed up when you were done. It was really frustrating. This isn't like that. So there we go. 
So this is the top part where you see the little gold kind of screen that goes behind the dolls. So I want to first by make, start by making this a good crease. And then I just want to make sure to get these little perforated parts underneath here so that when I squeeze them together, I can get them all the way over to this part here where there's a little indentation for it so that it gets stuck in there, stays standing up straight. And then I can also put a little perforation where the dolls are here. That'll give me the space to put the chocolate as well. That's all, everything finished then, and then I can just close this off. And um, if you really want to kind of eliminate seeing everything, I'm just going to put a little bit of tape here to put that back, just so that it looks pretty. And then if you really wanted to, you could also just tape down the instructions inside so they don't pop up and get in the way. But you're mostly going to be looking at it from the front, so it's not going to really bother. Then if you look inside here, we've got the chocolates. And there's a couple times worth of display in here. Um, if I remember, I think there's 20 pieces of chocolate. Yep. So uh, first we can see we've got the... Hina, and she's the larger chocolate, both her and the prince, the emperor and the empress. And then the attendants and the musicians are all uh, the smaller chocolate. So you can see the size difference here between those two, which is kind of cute. So um, the uh, emperor and empress are both biscuit chocolates. And, um, you know, I, could, I only need one set and they're the same, so I can put them to the side. And you can see these just kind of slide in here so cute and they just kind of lean back a little bit. You don't want to put them all the way through because then they fall all the way through. Now the other uh, chocolates that you add here, the general display is for the simplest kind of Hinamatsuri display and that's um, usually the simplest is actually the Emperor and Empress. And then if you have a place to display where you have like one of the stairs of levels of it, then you have three of the female attendants for the Empress. So, um, and if you're not sure, there's a little picture right here to help you know which ones to put out. But um, you can kind of separate. I'm sorry, my dog is barking so much. Oh, Lord. So we've got these red ones and pink ones here. And the purple and green ones we'll put we'll deal with in a second. But... Um, these are the little attendants that uh, take, help do things with the Empress. And if you look carefully, there's actually three different designs. They, and these are all um, the uh, rice puff kind of ones. So you can see there's two sets of three here. And uh, there's one with a little uh, thing for drinking sake and a little uh, teapot and then this little... Uh, box like tip plate that she's holding so those are the three we want to use and I can just leave these to the side again so that you can get an extra set of display if you want and then we could just put these on here and if you're unsure they suggest putting the tea one over here I mean the sake drink the pink one with the tray in the middle and then the uh, one with a little pot over on this side and that's basically the most simplest part of the um, display, is those three. So then if you wanted to, you could also do the last layer. And the last layer is actually not on this, but actually to the outer bottom part. And that's what all these guys are for here. If we uh, look at stuff, we've got people, um, these dudes, all playing musical instruments. And um, these are all with that strawberry. So you get... You only get a couple of the biscuit, you only get a few of the rice puff, and you get even more of those strawberry flavored ones. And you can kind of just look at the image here to see which ones you're looking at, but um, there's the guy with the little flute and one of the drums, and then there's some more of these drum guys here too. This little guy here with the drum, there's um, three of him actually, and then this little dude with a fan, and then this guy here. And those are all the guys with the drums. And I would suggest, you know, usually, because you need five, we can just go straight through here and get five by taking uh, these, one of each of all of these, and then keeping these guys over here. And um, you can kind of, you know, put uh, two purples on either side and kind of get these guys arranged 
so that you can have a full complete set for Hinamatsuri. And it's just such a cute idea to have, you know, this kind of thing become a display. So it can be a really fun way to enjoy a nice snack and also, you know, have a display for Hinamatsuri that you don't have to spend a lot of money on. So this is only like about 310 yen for the whole set. So a pretty good deal, I would have to say. And um, yeah, I, I mean, obviously this is a limit time, limited time kind of thing. You're not going to get this all the time. You have to be here during this time of year to get this kind of a chocolate. But I know how popular Hinamatsuri is in other countries, so there is a small chance that something like this might be available at your international stores or places online. So uh, check them out. And um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below.